deck areas of blue sky and of course you can see how much work is unfinished around here at the moment now realistically thinking about it the tourist trade over on this side is very quiet at the moment so we know from that that not much is going to be built at the moment until it starts getting a bit more popular again we're going to hopefully get to see this area really come alive but it is fantastic there are some really nice properties around here as well and as you can see it's it's a fantastic it's february and the sun is out the weather is great and it is a great place to kind of come and have a look so um check it out and again if you're a walker and stuff like that then it's a great place to come as well because uh, you feel safe you feel secure because it's all secured there's security all over the place and of course you always get you get that feeling of you're being protected because not anybody can get into this area so <coughs> excuse me it makes it really well <coughs> let's keep going oh. Now you've got some fantastic family holiday hotels around here as well. Like this one's got slides and a great like aqua park kind of connected to it. Um, and they've all got an animation team of such. A lot of them are more international animation teams. So it does mean that they've got some fantastic things going on. <coughs> Nearly off-roaded, volleyball being played. It's like a little village, well, city. So it really does have a great feel to it. Like we've just walked past like their little entertainment venue, which is like a nice outdoor stage area. So lots go on around here and it is fun. So this is the main shopping sector. So you've got all the different shops along here. Um, there's like Adidas, there's a couple of like souvenir shops and things like that. And then there's a couple of restaurants as well. Now we've been to a couple of the restaurants and they are actually good value for money and they're also uh, good quality food as well. So not a bad place to come out if you wanted to. Now this hotel that we're coming up to now is called the Premier Romance, which is a lovely little boutique hotel, which from what I've been told used to uh, related to the hotel that we're working at. But as you can see, it's quite busy around this end. There we go. <laughs> now, coming up on this side, so you've got a couple more shops and stuff like that, and we've got a wonderful ice cream shop and a great little restaurant down here. And then we've got some fantastic little shops along that way as well. Now, the next stop we're going to do is the Plaza. So I'm going to show you around there. So this is the Plaza. So this is a fantastic resort area. It's beautiful. Come and take pictures. Uh, come and have a look at the local shops because there's like a little arcade down the side of it. But at night, and I'll put some pictures up of what it looks like at night because it's fantastic. All this centre bit here is all um, lit up. It's a big fountain. So again, some nice walks at night. You'll find it fantastic. There's toilets here. So if you need a toilet break, you can do that. Um, but it is, it's such a but it's such an unused space now when we've gone into a bit more research and a bit more kind of discovery about what they do here what they've actually started trying to do is concerts and events so every so many months what they'll do is they'll buy in like a, a performer so like a singer or something can do like a concert here and things like that but as you can see it is just one hell of an amazing little space and the amount of work they put into it is just beautiful like the architecture and the way they finished all the walls and things like that it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful now if you go off to that side you'll see all the shops and then we've just come from that direction but again fantastic little place beautiful 
and then if you look down some of the corridors on either side you will see some amazing architecture and it's just fantastic it's such a beautiful beautiful building um, and it was a nice little find when we went to it now next door is a little pizzeria which is amazing really good value for money and I would recommend it it's connected to the hotel next door to this palazzo area but it doesn't matter you can walk in and have food so if you're feeling like you want something a little bit different for a night or you just want to venture out and about to the local area then that is definitely a place to go and try out because the pizza is good and yummy So on the other side of the hotel, you've got another big stretch of beach, which looks like this. And then you've got some building work, which looks like that. I've just realized the camera may have been a little bit close to my face then. And then you've got this other family hotel, which we're gonna go past to as now. So this is the other side of our hotel, which is the Premier La Ruby. I've not really spoke about these yet before, but these are where the security live. Not literally live, but you'll see security little posts like that all over. And this is beautiful, look at it, it's fantastic. Now, if I can show you. Oh no, I've already shown you the photo card cards, but yeah. Hey. So hopefully that has given you a little bit of a go at what is around us in Sahashish. A fantastic little resort. Again, uh, this time of year it's quite quiet, um, but it's a beautiful uh, area to come to and see some fantastic views, some fantastic sights. And if you do not want to go f further out into like Kagada and places like that, then if you're looking for a relaxing holiday and a nice break away from <laughs> The bad weather back home in Britain then what is stopping you from picking such a resort like this you've got a great confined space where you know it's nice and secure you've got some fantastic hotels with some great uh, food and some great sites to have a look at and then of course if you do want to go out and about then you can do what I've just done for the day and just hire one of these golf buggies they're really cheap uh, 150 Egyptian pounds from the hotel so if um, have a look at the different prices that you can get but a great chance to just jump on a golf buggy go out and about see some of the, the things in the local area and you never know you might find like the ice cream shop or one of the little restaurants go and have a different bit of bite to eat to spice things up for your holiday and then of course uh, you get to see a bit of the local life at the same time so I hope you enjoyed my little video I hope you you found it interesting don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook at Matthew Bacon official and don't forget to give this a good old thumbs up see you soon cheerio oh.